Hey, Dr. Amano, it looks like you did a problem on stereochemistry. Hi, I'd like to go over a question with you that I think you enjoy. Let's have a look. I gave you this molecule, and I want to know two things. Um, how many chiral atoms are present, and what's their configuration? Well, if you quickly look, we don't see any chiral atoms here. And by the way, you can have a chiral atom that's non-carbon. For instance, you can have a chiral sulfur or a chiral nitrogen. We don't see that in this instance. We don't see any here or here or here or here. There's a possibility about right here, so let's take a look together. We all know that there's a hydrogen coming out of the blackboard. So that's one path. There's this path that is two. Now, follow along. If you go up here, one, two, and goes to the nitrogen. If you go this path, one, two, to the nitrogen. So those paths are the same. That is not chiral. How about a chiral nitrogen? Well, we already know that there's a hydrogen going in the back, so that's one group. If you go this way, that's a path, so that counts as two. But if you go up, one, two, and then we go to the bridgehead. If you go this way, one, two, bridgehead. That means they're the same, so that is not chiral. The only area of chirality is right here. And watch what I'm going to do. The hydrogen is going downward, so I put it as a dash. Then you got this group going up, and that's going to be the carbon with the nitrogen. That's the carbon with the nitrogen. Then you got the upward path, or core R1, and this is going to be R2. All right, let's look at what we got. We have number four. Number four is a dash, which means we're in perfect position. This is going to be group number one, according to the Conningo tree log rules. This path going up is a carbon to a nitrogen, where this is a carbon going to more carbons. So this would be two, and this would be three. You go around, it's counterclockwise, it's an S. So there is one chiral center, and the configuration is an S. I hope that gives you a good understanding of how to do a problem that looked hard, but it wasn't so bad. I'm going for a 30 on my dad, Dr. Romano. Do you think I'll get one? I honestly don't. Good day to you. Jeez, Dr. Romano, that's not very encouraging. Good day to you, sir.